You may not recognize their faces, but you've definitely heard their voices. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Bornanson with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Hollywood at the Egyptian Theater for the premiere of the film I Know That Voice, representing some of the biggest artists in the voiceover industry. Let's go talk to some goofy characters. Hi Tony. How are you? Glenn. Glenn. Ashley, nice to, nice, to nice to meet you. I was told you're the guru teacher in the voiceover industry. Oh my industry. gosh, that, that, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes I am. So have you worked with a lot of people in the industry? Uh, I've worked with a lot of kids in the business. Um, I worked with a lot of these guys when I was doing uh, work and casting over at Disney for a while. That's amazing. So how does someone stand out as a great voiceover actor? I think a lot of times it's just um, them being professional, being knowledgeable about different styles of cartoons and stuff. And um, I don't know. It's just kind of like the choices they make on the script. Um, and then, you know, you have kids that stand out sometimes and just kind of make really awesome choices and are very flexible yeah. with the dialogue. And you're one of his students, Zach, right? And I got to talk to you, I believe, at Halloween annual something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All these events. That's amazing. You're you're voicing something oh. right now, aren't you? Oh. Yeah, the show that just premiered on Monday, no. Steven Universe on Cartoon <laughs> Network, and I play Steven on that. That's Which amazing. is hilarious. Yeah. How did you get into the character of Steven? Um, we, we actually created the character together. Um, I got actually fun. We were talking about that just two days ago. Yeah. We're like, remember when we were just doing the audition together and hanging out in the studio, playing around? And he came up with this, like, really low kind of sound for the character. He saw the picture and he saw that he was kind of a rotund little character and he made a little deeper voice. And I was like, yeah, yeah, do that, do that. And it was just like, kind of like, meant to be, I guess. We knew it was really good when he did it. And then when he got a callback, and I was like, of course. Man, I'm so excited for this. Um, what is it like being on a show, being on your own show? It's it's really cool. This is the first time I've been a regular on a show, and I love it. It's it's consistent. I know all the same people. I go in every week, and it's just a bowl of fun. And I, I couldn't have asked for a more ideal show for what I want to do. With have you seen the show yet? No. Oh, you got to watch it. It's Steven. It's called? Steven Universe. Steven Universe on? Cartoon Network. At what time? Uh, Mondays at 8 p.m. Okay, we're watching it. Steven Universe, Mondays at 8 p.m. Thank you both so much. They're making me do everyone short tonight. Yeah, so if you couldn't tell, we had so much fun tonight on the red carpet meeting so many different actors, crazy characters, crazy voices, such a great group of people. If this is the only interview you've seen, you're going to want to check out all of our other interviews. Like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave me a comment telling me who was your favorite character. For me, meeting Winnie the Pooh was amazing, but honestly, everyone was so awesome. I have the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.